Hey everyone, welcome to Face Checks. I'm Mark Bauman. I've been creating online businesses for 17 years. I'm the owner and inventor of different startups from Media Reps, Tech Blocker, Traffic House, DigiRegs, Revive Ads, and DMCA Force. My focus today and onward is our new product called Face Checks. We're going to be able to make the world a better place between myself and our supporters, one person at a time. That's Face Checks. Together, we can make the world a better place through image and content recognition. We're able to find and stop the sharing of images across dating sites, escort sites, stolen images for children, missing persons, child exploitation, and child pornography. Through image recognition and our DMCA4 software, we're going to be able to put a stop to this. Now, what is DMCA Force? DMCA Force is a, our latest creation. It allows us to do name recognition across the internet. We search the World Wide Web as well as the dark web for different names, for celebrities, for musicians, for software developers, and other popular content. We're able to find this content, and then we send what are called DMCAs. They are digital copyright management notices to people to take down content that belongs to these artists. Now, until today, it's been a professional use only software, and Face Checks brings it to private use to regular people. How are we going to do this? Well, we're taking our DMCA4 software, spidering and looking for content online, and we're combining it with image recognition. We combine it with image recognition plus artificial intelligence and facial recognition to be able to pinpoint and determine who a person is and if that content is a duplicate of another piece of content. You may have read stories about stolen identities online. The Huffington Post a few years ago did an article about Bianca Bosker. Bianca Bosker actually happened to be a writer for the Huffington Post. In that story, Bianca was befriended by herself online. Someone had stolen her identity and was using it to make new friends and to scam other people into buying products. Now, Bianca did some research and Facebook, by its own admittance, noticed that they had 83 million fake profiles. Today, we believe that's reached close to 300 million. So you may have heard of a Bianca Bosker story, or you may have heard of a more extreme story, that of Charlotte Law. Charlotte Law was a mother whose daughter was hacked, and her images were put online without her permission. Now, these were images that were not intended for anyone to see. These are private personal images. And her story is one of a harrowing story in which she had to go through a lot to get those images down. She had to reach out to the FBI and other organizations and was able to take this website down that was posting them online in what they call revenge sites. Now, there's a lot of stories of hers and Bianca Bosker's out there that no one hears about. So join us in the fight against piracy, in the fight against stealing personal images, against personal identities being stolen, against the exploitation of children, against these fake profiles being created online. We can stop this. We can make the world a better place. The way you can do this is by sharing this video and sharing stories of your own with us online, social media, and the day of the Kickstarter, which is again Oct October 17th. Please be there to support us. The more donations we have that day or investments, the better off we are. We rank higher on the website and we're exposed to more people being exposed to our cause. So please join us. Join the millions around the world who are getting their their profiles stolen and personal images stolen and support us. Thank you for your support.